Hello everybody, today we are visiting the Yankee Springs Recreation Area. Yankee Springs has about 30 miles of foot trail including the North Country Trail, National Scenic Trail. There are 12 miles of mountain bike trail and 9 lakes for fishing. There is also equestrian trails for your horseback riding. We are specifically looking today at the Deep Lake Unit, which is a primitive campground that has 78 campsites. These campsites do not offer water hookup and do not offer a dump station for RVs or trailers. As we approach the campground itself, there's your typical DNR sign that indicates the Deep Lake unit. The roads are dirt roads and the first thing that we approach is a ranger station and the parking area for the bike trails. There's a map of the bike trails and the paths along the way and there is a look at the ranger station I'll scroll around and give you a look at the parking area here for the bikers it's a pretty popular bike area so we scroll around and then head up to the ranger station there is a yellow phone that you would pick up to call an area that's actually occupied by a ranger there's not often a ranger here at this specific ranger station there's also a phone number here that you can call if you did not pre-register. However, you can go onto the DNR website and register online for one of these campsites in advance. Here's your typical DNR information and your drop box to register yourself and pay if you did not pay online. There's some maps and brochures available, all the legal stuff that they have to have posted at the campground. And then as we walk past that, Heading towards the campground, there is one large dumpster for disposal of waste. The campsites along the way are primitive campsites, like I said. There's no water hookup. There's not a dump site for RVs or trailers. First, we're going to walk past sites 1 through 6, and between sites 6 and 7, we'll come to the first outhouse. So here's a look at the sites. There's not a whole lot dividing the sites. They're actually, in my opinion, packed fairly close together. Um, fairly flat. There's not a whole lot of hills to most of them, so you could use a tent pretty easily. But I will say that uh, the bugs and the biting flies and the mosquitoes were pretty bad as I walked through here. We are going to approach the first outhouse here, and I could smell it on approach. The odor is stronger than what I would expect for most campsites and campgrounds. However, inside the outhouse, it was fairly well maintained and clean. The, there are not holes where critters have chewed through or anything like that. So here we are going into the outhouse. Once you're up to it, the smell wasn't so bad, but you could definitely smell it from a short distance away. your typical primitive campground outhouse. So next we are going to go past camp site number 16 and we're going to check out one of the group sites. These are what your scouts would use and what groups would use for business trips or something like that. And then we'll head on up to the boat launch area. So this is your organizational campsite. The gate is kept closed because no one's using them, but they are fairly large. Several picnic tables and a couple campfire rings for each site. Again, as I walked through here, the bugs were bothering me more than what I expected. Now we're going to head to the actual boat launch. It's a little bit of a hike, but not bad. There is a fair amount of poison ivy along the way, more than what I expected. This is a no-wake lake, meaning you are not allowed to make big waves on the lake. Most people out here seem to be using trolling motors. This would also be an excellent spot to put in your kayak. We'll walk out on the pier here. The actual boat launch ramp is cement, but not far into the water. It's very gravelly. Again, that should not be a problem if you're not launching a large boat. As I scanned my camera over the lake, off on the other side, there was some wildlife right off the bat. There's a deer walking around out there. 
camera didn't pick it up too well, but there it is. There's a marker on both sides of the parking lot because there are hiking trails that run through here and go towards the famed Devil Soup Bowl. And also down the way here, just a little ways, we come up on a nice dock that they had built out over the water. So since we're here, we're going to walk out onto the dock. The water here is full of weeds and quite shallow as we walk out here. I was looking for some fish and some turtles. I didn't see anything until I got to the very end of the dock and at that point as I looked down into the water I did see a few bluegills. Uh, nothing of any magnificent size. Definitely not keepers but there are some bluegills out here and that's the only species that I can say for sure since I didn't stay in fish. This seems like it would be a nice spot to kick back in an evening and watch for deer to come down to the water. I was out here in the middle of the day. It was about 80 degrees, so seeing that first deer was definitely a surprise. Right now, there's only one boat out on the lake, and he was quite a ways away, so I'm not sure what he was catching. Otherwise, I'd be asking. Here's the other trail marker to indicate the hiking trail that runs through here and now we are going to go off towards the first water pump that they have here in the campground so so far that water pump is the only one for this half of the campground and as you'll see here unfortunately it didn't work there's another image of all the poison ivy I'm gonna come in here and take a look at some of these sites Along this way in the middle of the campground, again, some of these sites are pretty large. I'll just pan over the camp area here. Problem is, they just packed you right in, and there's not a whole lot dividing you from the rest of the campers. I tried to tone down the volume here, but as I'm actually walking through this campsite, looking at the fire ring and the picnic table, uh, I could hear a camper several sites away yelling and cussing at what I assume is the flies and the mosquitoes biting this person. So the picnic tables aren't quite as well kept up, but they just need a layer of paint and they would be fine. Here I've looped back around to the pretty rough swing set that they have out here. That's about all they really offered for a playground and that very first hand pump and I pumped this handle over several times before I actually started recording and I got no water so that's disappointing that whole half of the campground has to go somewhere else for water or pack in their own water we're gonna continue down the trail here there's another hand pump but first I'm gonna walk up to these outhouses and again, you could smell them from quite a ways away. This was definitely worse odor than the first one. There were RVs up in this area that had generators running, so make sure if you pick a site that you're away from the noise. These two outhouses are actually back down the trail, and they're right along the bike trail just off the campground a little ways. And these were in better shape the odor didn't seem to be so bad and they also had little lights in them so that's unique and convenient let's see if it works yep that kicks on so i don't know if it's battery powered or solar powered i didn't look that closely so i finally found a water pump it's like right there but there's a bunch of people that were waiting to use it so i didn't stick around but i got some water to try old at least and it tastes okay it just was a little bit of work getting the water because one of the wells was broken and this one I had to pump like seven times just to get water to start coming out so there's that now from here I pretty much just followed the bike trail back down past those 
outhouses that's right there those were the two I just showed you and I headed right back to the parking lot so overall this campground is an okay campground it's not somewhere I would probably trust staying on a busy weekend um, I would imagine there's a lot of kids a lot of noise but for a small family looking for some place close to Michigan or the Grand Rapids area this is actually a nice little option and lots of decent fishing and outdoor recreation opportunities. It'd also be a good spot to go if you're a biker and you wanted to stay somewhere and hit the trails in the morning.